Hey, what's up guys? It's Seb for Workbench, and today we're going to talk about animating with splines. This week we're going to look at creating this effect with most splines in cinema. Let's get started. To create the effect I showed, I'm using a most spline in turtle mode. Turtle mode uses a system called L systems, and you can Google what that does, but essentially it's a set of commands that basically tells you to go forward or right or left one step at a time. So let me show you how I'm doing that. So I created a most spline and I set the mode to turtle. Didn't change any other settings in here. And then I went to turtle and I set the premise to F pipe A. And then in rules, I made A equals plus F pipe A. Right turn is the plus, F is forward, and A is continuous. So it just loops. I also set the default angle to 180. And then when you adjust the growth, it's a line unfolding on top of itself. So that's the basic setup. So I took that basic line setup and I stuck it inside of an extrude. So it extrude to 50. And you can see now I'm unfolding a bunch of polygons. Well, that's neat. So now I took that and stuck it inside of a cloner. So I have a grid. Then I stuck all of that inside of a bend deformer. And I created this. It's kind of neat, but the animation is too uniform. So I created a random effector on the cloner. And then I set that to time offset. And when you play that back, see it unfolds randomly. So the cool thing about this setup is you can use it in a bunch of different ways. Here I took the same setup I just made, did the bend in a different direction, and now I have a cylinder being created. And certainly you can animate the bend or whatever. Here's another one where I bent in the opposite direction. And you can use more clones to make a bigger grid and make a tighter mesh so you get a cleaner look. So that's it for the basic setup. So let me show you something a lot more complicated. So just like the previous setup, I'm using a most spline in turtle mode, same setup. And then in the values, I have default angle set to 180 and I'm using grow angle and grow movement. The difference between those two is that if you turn off grow angle, all it does is just go shoot straight up. Whereas if you use grow angle, it gives you that nice unfolding effect. It's a combination of the two. If you used just grow angle, it kind of pops on. It's also kind of neat, just not for this particular effect. So just like the previous setup, I'm creating a most spline in turtle mode. I'm putting that in an extrude. Then I put the extrude inside of a cloner to make a grid. Then I added a random effector to the cloner. In this setup, I set the random mode to turbulence and I'm using animation speed of 25% and a scale of 50. It gives you a nice varied move up. Then I stuck that inside of a connect object and then I'm using a bool and I have that set to A intersect B. And then I stuck that inside of a cloth surface and I'm using the cloth surface here to create a thickness to it. Then I repeated that same setup for the W and I added a cloth surface to that as well. That's it. Looks a little more complicated than it actually is. If you have any questions or comments, leave in the comments down below. If you'd like to help support what we do, go to patreon.com forward slash workbench and check out the blog at workbench.tv. As always, I'm Sev. We'll see you next week. Bye.